that Lossy iPhone is apparently still employed, but Gizmodo's Jason Chen, one of the editors that broke the next-gen iPhone story, had his computer gear taken by the California's Rapid Enforcement Allied computer team. They had a warrant and grabbed four computers and two servers and a bunch of other stuff. Now, personally, i got to say, I was kind of disappointed they didn't put up a big picture of Jason on the homepage like they did of the guy who lost the iPhone, whose name we yeah. refused to mention here. I know. I kind of want that guy's head at this point. <laughs> The Why? guy who sold it to Gizmodo. I mean, oh. Gizmodo's taken all the heat, but they still haven't released the name of the dude that, that sold it to them in the first place. I, I think he should get a little bit more flack than he's been taking. Well, it's kind of interesting, right? I'm not saying Gizmodo's blameless or anything. I'm not here to play armchair lawyer, but, <laughs> you know, I'm ready for his head to come out. Well, it's going to be interesting to see, because right now, because basically, right, there's a, there's, a, there's, there's a search warrant from a judge. It's, you know, it's, it, it's just like, what do I know about a search warrant? It looks legit to me. But the, the, the legal team, or yeah. the people who do legal for Gizmodo claims that uh, the search, or the, I should say the seizure was illegal, and that as a journalist, Chen can't be forced to give up his sources, the whole 901 law, that's, that basically your sources are protected. Which is assuming that sources are what Apple is after, and not just pure basic revenge for the whole iPhone scenario in the first place. Hope you enjoyed your umpty million hits. Here you go. Yeah, this is this excitement. And as much as exciting as it is, it's not nearly exciting as you're going to Japan. Yes, I'm not going to be here next week. I'm <gasps> going to be in Japan. We're starting in Osaka, and then we're going to Kyoto for a few days, and then we're finishing up in Tokyo for the rest of the trip. I'm shooting for core, so it's not all fun and games. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Are you going to bring back strange presents? Oh, of course. Always. Lots of strange candy, especially. <sighs> I like that. Uh, we should point out, actually, that's part of the reason we do not have a giant pile of taco here, because there's... Oh, my God, the tacos! Where you, are the tacos? Do you really want a giant pile? of tacos seven hours, nine hours before you get on a plane for well, the next 22 I do, hours of your I life. but I guess you should be more concerned about whoever's sitting next to me <laughs> <laughs> on that trip. Although we, we did we did deduce today in, in studio that girl farts are actually very similar to kitten size and yawns. It's like, meh, meh, meh. You know, I didn't come up with that. That's what... You, you got to come to Jersey. I'll show you some... Yeah, let's not, not even saying. go there. Well, anyway, tacos. So two weeks from now? Two weeks from now. Or are you going to skip tacos? tacos? No, no, no. We won't skip it. I, I thought I was doing you a favor right, rather than, you know, filling you with a giant pile well, of tacos. Well, I appreciate it. I, I do plan. appreciate it. That's good foresight. On a bright and cheerful note, we, we figured out a new and exciting way to, like, do backups in our house. Yeah. Backup parties. Backup parties. We'll, we'll talk about it when you get back. All right. All right.